Good morning, my name is Eric Bach and today we'll be talking about how to import waypoint files into Trimble's GPS Pathfinder office. So we will start off here with a sample of maybe a coordinate that someone wants to go stake out. The most important thing in this whole process is when someone gives you a coordinate or you have your own coordinate you need to know exactly what coordinate system this is in. In the case of this text file for this hydrant this looks to be latitude, longitude, and decimal degrees. All this will be accounted for when we set up our project. But if you have a state plane coordinate or UTM coordinate you definitely need to find out the zone, the datum, the epic, the units used, things like that. If not, your data points will end up several hundred feet off, several miles off in another country. Things like this negative sign for the longitude here or W, if you don't have that, your data may end up in China. At least with this coordinate, it may end up in China. I'm going to close that file out. And the first thing we're going to do here is go to in Pathfinder Office under Options, we'll go to Coordinate System. In this case, we have it set up to Latitude, Longitude, WGS 84 meters. Now, under Options, there's another one here called Style of Display. You'll see the Latitude, Longitude format: degrees, minutes, seconds, decimal minutes, decimal degrees. My file was in decimal degrees, but I want to show you what happens if I choose the wrong thing. So I'm going to click on OK. We're going to go to File and Import. I'm sorry, File Waypoints, ASCII Import. It asks you to browse the file. You'll go out, browse the file, click OK. Well, the next thing we need to do is go down to the coordinate system of input file. We're going to click on Site click on change make sure this is set to latitude longitude in it matching my existing coordinate system or if you had something different you would match it there click on OK input file format this is where we're going to start next under the settings let's click on the help button so we can see what this means here so we have these different options for this input file format so you would type in N for northing or latitude, E for easting or longitude. If you were using a USNG coordinate, you would use the letter U. Z equals elevation, D equals description, and if you had extra fields in there, you would use dashes so they wouldn't be imported. So I recommend if you have any issues, please click on the help button in the top up here to get more information. In the case here, we have a description, then our northing, and then easting. They're separated by a comma. In the text file, there is no header, so we're going to start importing at row 1. Now, I should get an error. It says invalid format in the first line. Let me click on OK. That all stems back to this style of display. In the case of latitude and longitude, we need to hit decimal degrees. Click OK. We'll do it one more time. File waypoints, ASCII import. It should, well, I thought it would have remembered everything. I'm going to go back and change the coordinate system. Change my input format. Comma, delimited, description northing easting. We're in latitude longitude pointing to our feature here. We're going to click on OK. It imported properly. Now, from here you would go to Utilities and transfer it over using Data Transfer as a waypoint file to your TerraSync software. However, I highly recommend before you go out in the field that you check to find out if this point is in the right location. I'm going to click on Close here. And I'm just going to bring in a background file. I have a image service from the USGS here. And we're just going to open that up just to see if I'm in the right location. You could also go to Utilities and Export and export out this data. A quick way would be just go export it straight to Google Earth and see if it 
lines up in the location that you want. Again, I highly recommend you do this or else you go out in the field. If your data is off, then you have to come back to the office and do this process again. In this case, I can see that the hydrant shows up in its proper location. So from here, I would just go to Utilities, Data Transfer, save the waypoint file. I would connect to my device. In this case, I don't have a GPS connected, so let's just set up TerraSync like this. Click on Send, go down to Add, and you will see your waypoint as an option. In this case, the waypoint file shows up as W04 for the month, 24 for the day, 9 o'clock, and this is the first file I created at 9 o'clock. I'll click on Open and then Transfer All. And this is how you create a waypoint file in Trimble's Pathfinder office. Thank you. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos. FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.